All right, interesting video today. Interesting video today, and it's uh, it's alluded to part of the reason that I want to do YouTube so badly. I want to leave a mark. Now, what do I what do I mean by that? Maybe it's because I've been listening to too much Mr. Beast and Airac, but what certain people do online, I do find it quite inspiring, you know, and you can almost see their whole uprising from where they started to where they are now. I kind of want to have that. I kind of want to create like a dialogue, like a, so not more like a, a recording of how my life progresses. And I want to put it all on the internet. I want to put it all on the internet. I want to put the ups and the downs. And that's like a permanent version of me. Like if I'm sure you guys have heard of the concept of like um, uploading your mind right somewhere. Like imagine you had like a USB stick and you could put everything on on online. That's kind of what you're doing with YouTube. Except you don't have to, you know, take stuff out your brain, right? This is hypotheticals, right? You kind of get to document everything online and everyone can see it. Now, what's nice about it though is that I get to filter what I, what I want to show and what I don't want to show. Um, I'm, try I'm, I'm becoming more comfortable with being more open, but I got to take into consideration how it affects my family and people I know and that kind of stuff. Like, it's getting messy sometimes, but... I want to leave a mark. I want to, I want people, what I think is so cool is somebody can see where I am right now. I'm 18. And if I do YouTube for like 10, 20 years, by the time I'm 40, 50 years old, they can see the whole thing. Obviously you haven't got my childhood, right? Cause I wasn't doing YouTube then. Um, actually I did, I did have a gaming channel there. I'll, I'll show, I'll show you guys my old gaming channel one day. Um, some of you know me in person, know the name of it. Um, it, it never got over 300 subscribers, so it didn't really, uh, it wasn't, wasn't exactly big. But um, it's kind of like, it's surpassing just, I want to make a lot of money. Because for me, initially, it was just, I'm going to make money online, so I'm going to, um, I want to make money online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to become a trader and I want to make a ton of money, and then I want to look good in the gym, get some good photos, and that's it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's still part of it, right? That's still part of, like, my motivation to, you know, work and everything, but also, it's like, I want to give some impact. I want to be like, boom, like, when people say my name, it's like, boom, it's like, it's that guy. You know, that's kind of what I want. Am I doing it all for my ego? Well, I mean, like, there's definitely an argument, but, bro, if I'm not gonna go all out, what's the point? And I feel like other careers aren't going to give me that, like, content creation. Now, of course, I could do something later. Um, currently, it's like, when that, when that epiphany hit me, where I can show the whole journey online, it, it felt like it was just, it felt obvious. It felt natural. It felt like, this is it. This is my calling. That's, it just, it just felt so natural when, when that thought came to mind. Unlike a lot of other things where it was like, I'm, you know, I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway so I can make some money. Now I'm like, well, this is really fun to do. People seem to enjoy it. And I feel like it can leave an impact and I feel like it can help people and it can eventually support me financially. And I mean, I get to grow a really cool community. So I'm like, why not? You know, I'm like, why not? Because I feel like a regular job and definitely a regular life. It's not really going to add because let's be real here, right? Think of famous people, you know, that are dead, right? How many can you think of? Now, think about all of their friends. All of their friends' friends. Their family. You have no idea who they are. Because they've been forgotten. Most people are just forgotten. Most people are just forgotten. But with the internet, it's like you can be lingering there forever. And ever. 
Is that immortality? Definitely not, because you still die. But it's like a record of you is there for people to see. Now, that record can be good. That record can be very bad, right? It it really depends on what information and, like... Because, like, you, you're, you're, you're still judging somebody by, like, a certain presence of them. Like... I'm on camera right now talking to you guys and I'm trying to be as legit as I can. I'm trying to not hide anything, but still I'm in front of a camera. It's not the same as if I was talking to you in person. It can feel like it is, but still it's like I'm in a room talking to myself basically. Um, so unless you know me in real life, you don't really know me. Do you know what I'm saying? But you kind of do know me. Like it's kind of weird. Um, it's really weird, actually. And that whole thing is just shown. The whole thing. And I'm sure, you know, when I'm older, people can find this stuff helpful. I'd like to think. So, the question I want to ask you guys, if you're still here, which 80% of you aren't because the retention is going to die on this video because people don't have an attention span. But if you are here, thank you. You know, congratulations. You know, congratulations. Because most people can't, <laughs> most of you bored by now my question to you is what mark do you want to leave or do you want to leave a mark or are you happy to you know linger more in the shadows a bit more a bit more anonymous because doing this i am giving up a level of privacy right i am giving up a bit of my privacy right like i'm in my room right now you guys see my room like I, I, that's not a big deal but you, you see what i'm saying like it's not um it's not oh I, uh, random point so many people are confused by this i've got my bed and i've got a door here and i'm i'm leaning on a door here yeah i'll explain it one day it's a bit weird um <laughs> I, I, i'll see if you guys can figure it out um but um ask yourself what kind of mark do you want to leave because i see people like mr beast and i'm like wow that is a legacy that is a sick legacy you know what i'm saying that is awesome right? I see people like, um, Yes Theory. Oh, I love Yes Theory. They're going to have a great legacy. When they, when those guys die, I know that's a bit dark, but like when they do die, because everyone dies, right? I'm being honest. Um, bro, they, they've got something special that they've left. Seriously. And I'm sure some people would take it over and carry it on. Oh yeah. Wow. What would happen to that? What would happen? Wow. To these big channels somebody's gonna have to carry it going you can't just let it die like if mr beast died someone has to keep it going can can you just if it's like a personal channel like it's just your name then i guess that kind of stops there but if it's like a brand if it's like an actual like brand then of a channel oh i don't know would somebody take over mr beast that's crazy can you imagine but um, what's going to be sad, right, is when people you've grown up watching on YouTube, they start dying. I know this is getting very dark, but like that, that is like something that will happen eventually. And that it, it kind of gives you reference for time because you're like, oh, I remember watching when I was a kid and now they're dead. You know what I'm saying? You're like, it, it, it kind of references in terms of like, okay, like, it, bro, it, keep, it, keeps, it keeps you thinking about you know, passing away. And that makes you more motivated, I feel, to, like, go and achieve what you want. I don't see death as a bad thing. I don't know why I've got onto this now, but if you're still here, you'll hear from my tangents, because I'll just go on and on. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing, but, but it's like everything. Like, a healthy dose of understanding can help you push forward and actually accomplish more, and you end up being more fulfilled in the long run. So, think about what you guys want to leave behind. I think if you can figure out what you want to leave behind, then you can... I've just realized this has kind of turned into your legacy is your purpose. That video I made, like, I think, like, two weeks ago now. And if I watched it, it's like, five years, and it was five years and two weeks ago. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for now. Um, little reference. So, today is the 25th of May, and the video titled... Um, I pretended that my social anxiety doesn't exist. It just started like picking up crazy on the main channel. It was getting like 200 views an hour and then it just stopped. 
They went up to like 1.8K, 1.7K, and it just stopped. So I, I mean, it's still, I'm still grateful for that, though, because none, none of my videos have been being, have been pushed lately. But, um, yeah. All right. Little reference. Anyway, that's it, isn't it? If you're still here, I don't know why, but I, res I, I love you, man. <laughs> Should I the video there? All right. I need to go make some pasta because I'm hungry. In a bit.